Always makes time to check in with the resident celebrities. I think Annette's looking around saying, does he always do this? Yeah, not too many players will actually get up and leave the match right in the middle. Pocket jacks for Annette. She raises to 2,000. 000. Ace nine suited for Phil. He calls. Check. Phil pairs his nine. He checked in the dark here. One over card to Oberstad's jacks, but she doesn't want to check and cede control of the pot here. She bets 2,500. Helmuth has a pretty strong hand. Just going to call, though, because you hate to check raise and get three bet. Then you got to release. Annette adds an open-ended straight draw. Not a bad turn card for her. Check, check. That's a pretty conservative check in position with second pair to the board and an open ender. And she improves to the straight on the river. 11. Phil bets 1,100. Super small defensive bet from Phil Helmuth here. I'm all in. Annette puts Phil all in. She's not worried about a club draw. Wow, wow. I'm not, decide, I'm not saying what I'm going to do. My heart says I'm supposed to... Uh, Ship it in there is what my heart says. I mean, you already hit a two-outer on me. What'd you hit this time? Runner, runner, or some BS? I know that you think but that's a weak bet, so... I played this hand to trap you from the start. What'd you do? You just got lucky again? I mean, that's just so sick. You're just lucky that the board comes where you can even make a bluff? I mean, wh what is this? You're so lucky this hand, one way or the other. Either to be able to make a bluff or to have hit some weird thing. Makes me sick. Wow. You've seen the sick calls that I make. You know I can't be bluffing. All Phil has is a pair of nines here, but the deliberation is the product of a few things. Annette's aggressive reputation, the fact that she checked the turn, and the fact that she's an aggressive and talented enough player to pull off a bluff wow. when the opportunity presents itself. And here we are with the board texture that's showing a four card straight and a flush. What do you have, like ace seven? I, I can't even, it's hard for me to imagine a hand I could beat. You might have like five, six or some crazy thing. Man, my heart is telling me that I'm supposed to put the money in. But my mind can't imagine what I can beat. You don't have anything to say? Annette must have the chat off. I can't beat anything but a pure, pure, pure bluff. So sick that they found the running 10 8 for you. Can I get a clock, please? Ooh, how about that? Read between the lines, and that says. On the feature table. Shut up and make your move. Clock requested on the feature table. Annette requesting a clock. Our tournament director will head over to the table. Gonna have 30 seconds and then a 10 second countdown. 30 seconds or a minute? 30 seconds and then a 10 second countdown. Phil's going to have to make up his mind rather quickly here. Calling a clock can sometimes raise your opponent's suspicions, too. Might look more like a bluff. <laughs> Gus Hansen coming in, <laughs> wanting to see what all the fuss is about. Wow. It was one heck of a bluff, Annette. One heck of a bluff if you're bluffing. I just can't imagine. I mean, my heart says to call you, but... I just can't seem to fold. I just can't seem to, just can't seem to fold. Ten seconds. I call. Oh, Phil follows wow. his heart, but he should have listened to his brain. He is eliminated, and Oberstad is moving on. Nice. Looks like Phil's heart just sent his mind and his body out the door. Good hand. Good game. Thank you.
What happened there? Annette administers a card-playing and psychological clinic. I don't want to take anything away from Annette Oberstad, but this is a case of Phil Helmuth busting himself. He did not have to go broke here. Really overthought things and talked himself into a horrible call. Hansen can't even believe it. He's got to come over and check it out twice.